It is a busy day for the Metro and families and teachers too. Yeah, thousands of kids head back to school in Casey Mo, Casey K, and Raytown districts. Lots of them taking that first bus ride of the season this morning. 41 Action News reporter Belinda Post joins us live from Raytown to find out how bus drivers gear up for that first trip. Good morning. Good morning, guys. It's actually been so busy here, even in just the last five minutes. We've seen a ton of buses leaving. And actually joining me is one of those drivers, Larry Nowicki. He's been driving here for five years. So with all of that anticipation, you probably have this routine down pat. But what are some things you go through in the morning? Well, we have a state-required pre-trip inspection that we go through. And some of the items that we check are our lights, make sure that all of our clearance lights are working, that the mirrors are all clean, there's no cracks in them. We check the uh, such as the exhaust pipe, make sure that it's not loose, there's no obstruction in it, make sure that all of our emergency exits are functioning properly. We check underneath the hood to make sure that there's no fluid leaking mm -hmm. and all we go through, make sure that our emergency stop signs are working and all this so the children can enter and get off of the bus safely and just certain items like that. It, it all pertains to safety. Yeah, and thank goodness you do that to make sure that the kids are getting to and from school in a safe manner. But now that we've gone through that entire checklist, what are some of the most exciting things about the first day? Well, first day is just the excitement of the children themselves. You know, get to see kids that you haven't seen all summer long, the greetings from them, and then just looking at all of their smiles. Thank you so much, Larry. We appreciate it. Linda, earlier you were telling us that Raytown still runs their own fleet of buses. What's the benefit of that? Well, actually, the district here feels like it gives them a little bit more control if it's in-house. They say it's also a little bit less expensive, and they're able to provide better customer care. Now, coming up here at 7 o'clock, we will be talking about new things coming to the Raytown School District. Reporting live in Raytown, Belinda Post, 41 Action News Today. All right, Belinda, thank you.